My name's Tom and I'm a chef. I've always loved food since as long as I can remember, but couldn't always afford to eat out at the nicest restaurants. So when I moved out, it's either I had to learn how to cook or eat crappy food. One day uh, my girlfriend asked me, hey, uh, maybe you should try cooking. And I said, no, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna slice off all my fingers. I'll never be able to play music again. <laughs> but uh, eventually I got over that and I started cooking and I realized I loved it. I studied like crazy. And within two weeks, I decided to go to culinary school. My philosophy when it comes to cooking is to understand how everything works and to question old rules and to try and figure things out for yourself as opposed to just doing something because that's the way it's supposed to be done. Cooking is as much feeling as it is science and technique. It really blends all those things together. You're not just doing art and you're not just being a scientist. I would describe my cooking style as modern, but with great respect to classical cooking and classical cuisine. I really try and expand on what the old French, French chefs and the old Italian chefs have done. My kitchen used to be kind of a dump. It used to be just a little kitchen in a basement suite, but uh, I spent a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of effort putting different shelves in, you know, making it almost a commercial kitchen. You know, I've got lots of high-tech equipment and I've got four freezers and three fridges, two immersion circulators, and those are used for sous vide cooking. The weirdest thing I've ever cooked would probably have to be sweetbreads. Veal sweetbreads are the thymus glands of baby cow, uh, and they're also part of the pancreas. They look like brains though. Private dining or underground restaurants is quite a huge thing in Vancouver right now. Uh, it's basically chefs that are running little restaurants out of their home, and they have small groups of guests come and basically try out their food. Private dining differs from being in a regular restaurant because for the chef, I have the, the freedom to change the menu whenever I like, to put whatever I want on my menus, to freely make substitutions and whatnot, and it's, you know, nobody's gonna say no. For the customer, it's much more of a personalized experience. You know, if people want to know about their food, they can, they can talk to me, you know, they can ask me how I'm doing this and they can watch me while I'm in the middle of it. Some, sometimes if, if you want to get into one of these private restaurants, you have to really know someone who's been to one. It's a little bit of uh, hush hush, it's sometimes, sometimes invite only. My own private dining operation is quite small. I do maximum eight people. I try to create a very friendly, very casual atmosphere. Uh, I'm tired of the white tablecloth setting, you know, with the sommeliers and the maitre d's, you know. I, I don't think that that's what food is about. I think food is an art and art is meant to be shared among friends or among anyone. One of the things I love most about cooking is that you can take an idea and physically express it on a plate. And as, a, as an artist, that's, that's quite important to me. You know, I want to conceptualize something and I want to put it together. And then I want you to eat it. And like it. I don't want to be the, the you know, a big restaurant chef or like, you know, a, a big hero in the kitchen. <laughs> this is what I would like to do. You know, I want to cater to a small crowd and, you know, obviously it's very limited financially, but I'm okay with that because in the end, I love food and you know, I love serving it and that's all I need.